Hello, everybody. We are Sneaker Maniacs. Yo, bro, those are some sick shoes. Where did you, where did you get them at? Oh, bro, I got these at Sneaker Maniacs, bro. They're an online sneaker store. They resell sneakers. You can get them refurbished and clean if you want to also. And you never have to worry about any rest. Dude, that's so sick. I'm for sure they're going to hit them up. I got to see what they got. For sure, bro. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's meet the management team. I'm the CEO, David Saldana. Um, Adrian Montenegro, CIO, and the rest of our team is out there. <laughs> now, the problem. So first <coughs> thing and the biggest thing is the replica sneaker market is actually worth three times that of the actual sneaker market, bringing in over $450 billion. Um, if you look here at the top right, I have a real uh, Jordan 4 military black on the left and the fake version on the right. And as you can see, um, there's very uh, small differences, things like stitching and texture. Um, and if you don't have the right people and the right technology, you, you won't be able to um, assess the difference between the real and the fake. Um, the next thing is there's a lack of repair and cleaning uh, services offered um, on these online sneaker stores. There's also a lack of safety between resellers and buyers. Um, and from personal experience, I can say this is true. Um, I do this as a, on, as a side um, kind of hustle and hobby. Um, I've made about 10 grand um, in the span of probably three months. Um, there's just a big, big problem with that. And on a side note on the bottom here that I have the, the sneaker market is projected to sell or continue to grow 5.2% annually from now until 2030. And I also have a real pair right here, um, bought from StockX and I actually, I actually um, authenticated them myself as well because StockX has a really big problem with fakes right now. Um, I paid resale price, which is about $450. So I wanted to make sure that they're real. Now the solution, uh, Sneaker Maniacs, where you can sell, trade, clean, and repair um, features, having features uh, all in one through this uh, app. Uh, we also offer authentication process, which is 100% guaranteed, um, where things like StockX can't offer. Um, we're also user-friendly, scam-free, and 100% safe. So our opportunity and our target market. The opportunity is honestly endless, and the target market is honestly endless. There's people who line up for shoes, camp overnight, people fight over shoes, and uh, we know our crowd, we know the younger generation, there's always athletes coming out with shoes, there's even rappers, uh, actors coming out with shoes, so honestly, the target market is nowhere near ending. And technology, what we would need, there's gonna be an app, consumers, buyers, traders, all talk, there's gonna be graphs, trends, you can see what's hot, what's not hot, you can also see if you're being overpriced, underpriced. And then we have our authentication system. We can guarantee 100% authentication system, which other competitors cannot. And there's also gonna be our shipping and delivery system. You'll be able to track and see if you're being scammed or not. Make sure that your shoes, if you wanna get them washed, you can get them in, get them back, and not be scared if you're not gonna get them back. Uh, competition, these are the big competitors but honestly, I feel like they can't really compete with us. They can't offer you that your, that your shoes are gonna be real. They can't offer uh, that your shoes can get washed. They can't offer you that, oh, you step on something, they can't fix them. They, they just honestly can't help you. And marketing and sales, we're gonna market, we know our crowd is gonna be a, a younger crowd. And sales, we're gonna rely on word of mouth and we're gonna rely on trust. Uh, people are going to be able to trust us because they'll know buying shoes through us, it's going to be real. They know that the shoes, if they want to sell, it's going to get there. They know if they're going to buy, they're going to get the shoes. And honestly, they can also believe that if they're going to go get them washed, they can get them back in even better condition. Now let's talk numbers. Uh, financial projections. So for startup costs, we have $500 a month for keeping the app up and running. We have 10 startup employees at 1250, bringing in $182,000 yearly. Um, a marketing expense of 20 grand, insurance cost of 2,000, and another 20,000 of just additional operating costs. We also have $72,000 in cleaning equipment. Now, how we make money is a transaction fee of 7% for every shoe sale that's uh, through us. 
So for example, this shoe here, $450. Uh, if somebody buys that, we get 7% of that. And that goes strictly to us. Um, we also offer $65 for cleaning and restoration, uh, bringing in $325 revenue each day. Now, we estimate an average daily revenue between $1,050 and $1,575 daily. Um, and those numbers are from processing 50 to 75 shoe sales a day, as well as five to 10 cleaning sale, uh, shoe sales a day. And that brings us to earnings of $693,500 in revenue for year one. Now, we are seeking $200,000 to cover operating expenses, marketing expenses, um, equipment for cleaning, restoration, and technology, as well as insurance. To pretty much sum it up, there is no reason actually to not believe in this market. This market is nowhere near stopping. There's always going to be the next generation of athletes, next generation of musicians, actors. One minute we're, left. We're going to keep pushing for new shoe lines, and there's always going to be a market for shoes. Thank you.